Hello everyone, uh, this is Joey, and I'm just killing some time playing Minecraft. So, uh, this is my underground mine, and as you can see, I set up a little melon farm down here so I'll have something good to eat, instead of that nasty old zombie flesh that I've been eating for the most part. <laughs> um, and here's a slime, that's my tree farm. And I just put this tree farm in, so I'm, you know, haven't really worked on it too much, but... Ooh, ooh. Hang on there, buddy. Oh, he only gave me two. And I got two slime balls. So, I think you can see by that why I built this down here, and that was so I could get some slimes. If you are struggling to find slimes in your world... Uh, th this is by far the easiest way to find slimes, in my opinion. Uh, what I did, I, I kind of knew that there were, like I had come down through, I had built this tunnel down here to bedrock, and uh, or this mine shaft down to bedrock. And I'd explored these tunnels a little bit, so I knew that somewhere in this vicinity that I had seen a slime. Um, but even if you've never seen a slime in a certain vicinity, the the best way to get slimes is to dig down to roughly Y coordinate 12.6, and that puts your feet on uh, your feet will be on level 10. This is the top of level 10 right here. The floor is, and I think I've talked about that before. And you just hollow out. <laughs> just start hollowing all this crap out and eventually you will come across a chunk a chunk is uh, 16 blocks this way by 16 blocks that way and sp slimes spawn randomly uh, in certain chunks that may or may not <laughs> uh it's it's semi random. It's sort of random, but not really random. Anyway, there's a formula to get it, but even if you don't know the formula or you don't want to deal with it, if you do this for a large enough area, you're bound to come across a slime chunk. And once you come across it and you open up enough area around it, they will start spawning in uh, fairly frequently if you hang out down here. So, um, that's what I did. I came down here and started hollowing it out. And, uh, oops, got quite a bit of cobblestone there. And I think that there's one of the chunks is like over here, and there's like another one over here. There's I think I've actually jump, jumped into two chunks are cut into two chunks here, kind of in these general areas. So, uh, I've actually managed to collect quite a few uh, slime balls. I'll show you that in a minute. I've got a full stack plus 34, so that's plenty of sticky pistons for, <laughs> for all my sticky piston needs. And I've also found 11 diamond down here. I've probably found more than that and fallen into the lava or used up the picks or swords or whatever I made out of it. So uh, I have, I, I know I've found more than that, but that's just what I found in this or what I've managed to hang on to. And I found two stacks, two and a half stacks of, really three stacks of iron down here plus more because I've been through probably 20 iron picks no telling how many iron picks how many iron swords and shovels that I've used up so um, yeah here it is digging all this out and I'm continuing digging I'm gonna continue digging for a while I don't know how big this will get um, the only thing about it is uh, now on because of the fog, you can't really see the extent of it 
but it's it's already fairly large. And I'm putting these uh, five blocks apart. So there's there's five blocks between e a creeper. There's something over there I don't have lit up. I don't know what it is, but uh, I keep getting mob spawning in over there. So I'm going to go this way. And get a piece of wood. Gonna make a sword. Put a bed down here too, so that I'll spawn back here when I die. I'm stupid. Here we go. There we go. Now I have a sword. So I can effectively fight that creeper should the need arise. But I think for right now I'm going to avoid him. And then I'm going to go over here. And I dug this tunnel through here. Uh, so that I could, um, I kind of just uh, memorized the uh, coordinates for my... And I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this shaft. If I'm going to try to beautify the shaft or just kind of leave it the way it is. I don't really think it's all that necessary, but uh, over here is my zombie masher, so I got an easy way to easy underground way to get to that. And uh, if I keep going up, I'll go back outside. So I'm trying to get to the point where all my tunnels and stuff and things are a little bit more interconnected and easier to get to from one to the other because used to I'd have to go all the way back up here and then come down through this hall and go down there and then I kinda um, built a little cut through up here and I might even fill that cut through in because I don't think I really need it that well I might still need that I don't know I really need to find out I need to let this go all the way down to do I need? no I don't uh... so yeah anyway I'm not gonna go up there um, but I just wanted to uh, give you a little update on what I'm doing. And uh, you can see my melon farm. Let you see my melon farm. Ooh, an egg. Let you see my uh, giant underground mine and all of my slime balls. Because I'm sure that some of you will be envious of my slime balls. <laughs> because I know I look at certain you know I'll be watching somebody's videos uh, on YouTube and I'll notice that they have like a ton of slime balls and I'm like did they cheat those slime balls how did they get all those slime balls and I'm wondering I really do wonder if they just happen to come across a chunk or if they because there is a uh, like I said a mathematical formula and you go to this website and it'll tell you exactly where to to do that and I wonder if people uh, just do that and build a you know a room down there and just let the the slime spawn in and I don't think everybody quite goes to quite the extent that I've gone to as far as uh, hollowing out such a, a huge space as, as I have hollowed out so I don't think everybody goes to that extent I wish this one melon would grow right here. It's really bothering me that it's not. I think I'm just going to harvest the rest of the melons and and then uh I'm just going to harvest the rest of them here and let it grow cuz I'm just you know, now I'm not maximizing my melon growth and trying to let them all grow in and then harvest them but oh well it's not going to work every time so but yeah once you find melon and it took me a long time to find melon seeds um oh, let me show you that I'm going to cut this and I will show you how I found melon seeds hang on okay I'm back and here it is. I was, I was, I can't remember, well, I was like out exploring over here somewhere and I looked down and it's not at all obvious now because I've 
uh, I think I took down the torches, but there was right here where this is at. There's holes in the bottom of the sea. <laughs> so um, I built this little platform. I've got stuff in here. I've got cobblestone in here and 16 eggs. Wow. Gotta sleep away the night. Damn it, that's going to reset my spawn point. Anyway, so there, you can see it there. There you can see that that little bit of light right there, that little bit of light right there. You can see it, right? You can see that, right? Okay, good. And uh, this is how I found my melon seeds, is I was out here swimming around and noticed this light. And this light usually, but not always, means that there is an underground abandoned mine. So... <laughs> um, yeah, that I actually this is how I found it. <laughs> so uh anyway, I noticed that light and so I built this platform over here and to kind of mark it. And now I got kind of turn around here. Oh, I think this is the way back home. So, and I can kind of show you a neat trick. Let's see if this is a good place. This looks like a good place to do it. Um, used to, you could uh, plant, a th you could do that. And look how it fills up your, we'll wait for my air bar to go back down. There you go. You gotta have too high. You gotta have a too high block underwater uh, that you can stand right in front of, and you can do that. Used to when you would do that, the the light would stay even though the torch went away. But uh, you still get that instant of air that uh, resets your your air bubble thing. So uh, it's a good trick if you're underwater and you're trying to survive underwater it's a particularly effective uh, if you're trying to get away from like creepers or <laughs> uh, skeletons or something like that you can just jump in the water and you know stay away from them so anyway get some more lily pads here I need to come out with some shears and get some vines. I've never collected vines before, so at least not on this map. So come out here and get some vines and do some cool stuff with vines. Decorate my because I think the vines really make the uh, cobblestone buildings look a lot better. Because cobblestone buildings are kind of ugly to begin with. But if you ha there's my tree sheep. I think that sheep's been up there since the, I started this map. But yeah, up there. That looks that looks pretty good. Anyway, that little tower in, in cobblestone. I think it looks good. It looks very uh, rustic. There's a lot of towers. A lot of the, if you look at the older castles. Um... They aren't made out of like stone bricks. They're not made out of blocks. They're made out of just rocks that they've thrown together. So that's kind of what that looks like. So I think it looks neat. But if I was going to build like my house, it looks a lot better with stone block. It looks more sleek and modern. And there's. Did I happen to bring that hoe with me? No. I, I want to redo this anyway. This is kind of kind of ridiculous the way I have it here. So, uh, want to redo that. But anyway, I just wanted to show you how I came across my melon seeds. Melon seeds are kept in chests, in dungeons, or in uh, abandoned mines. So. That's the only place you can find them that I'm aware of, so it's the only way to get them. And I looked long and hard to find that, <laughs> so 
Um, congrats to me, I guess. Anyway, uh, that's all I got. Talk to you next time. Bye.